Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today where we're going to discuss Maryland Mortgage Home Programs with Kyle Davison from First Home Mortgage. Kyle? Hi everyone. Uh, Flo, thank you so much for having me. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to work with First Home. I've worked with First Home for uh, about a year and a half now. I actually work out of the Crofton branch here in Maryland. I work with a lot of first-time home buyers. That's kind of our specialty. And we put a lot of emphasis on getting, you know, each individual buyer the best possible program to fit their scenario. All right, great. So, um, so that we can keep this short and sweet, I'm going to go ahead and start with my first question. What qualifies someone for the Maryland Mortgage Program as far as like credit, um, your debt to income ratio, et cetera? Yeah, so typically with the Maryland Mortgage Program, um, you're looking at a 45% debt to income ratio as the maximum for uh, conventional and FHA buyers. Um, as far as the credit score, we're typically looking for a 640 credit score for Maryland for uh, FHA buyers and for a 680 credit score to go conventional. Uh, with, VA, with VA loans, uh, the 640 would also be the requirement. Okay. All right. And then my next question is, uh, what are the three most commonly used Maryland mortgage programs? And can you provide a little detail around each of them? Yeah. So um, the most common program that I use is the 3% loan program. Um, so what this is, is it'll actually give you 3% of the loan amount uh, towards your closing costs and your down payment. Um, so this, you know, this can help offset um, buyers that maybe don't have quite the savings. I think it's optimal for buyers that are really just trying to replace uh, their rent with a mortgage. Um, you, you can get into the home uh, for very little down and start, start building equity in the property. Uh, the second most common uh, program that we use, uh, second most popular, is uh, the 4% grant program. This program, uh, it gives you a little bit more down payment assistance, but uh, to offset for that, it typically has a little bit higher interest rates. Um, but the other benefit of this program is that the grant is completely forgiven at closing. Um, so you're never going to have to pay that money back. Um, the, th the third most popular program, I would say, would be the uh, Maryland Smart Buy program. We have a lot of people inquire about this program. It'll actually get rid of up to $30,000 in student loans, um, but it does have additional requirements. It does have a 720 uh, credit score minimum requirement, and all the, loan, uh, all the student loans must be paid off uh, at, the, at closing. All right, great. So my next question is, does the program affect your rate? Yeah, so the Maryland Mortgage Program, they post their rates every day on their website. Um, they, they don't change all too often, um, but they, they do just have a set rate for each program every day. Um, so there's really not a lot that you can change, change about that rate. Okay, and that, that rate is different from without, you know, if you don't use the program, is that rate higher or lower usually? It, it's typically a little bit higher because you're getting all the down payment assistance. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And then um, my last question is, when using the Maryland Mortgage Program, what's the average close time? Yeah. So, I mean, typically we will require a 45 day close. I have done, uh, if the file is very well put together and, you know, the buyer is very responsive and is able to get us documents fast um, and there's not a whole lot going on with the file, I have been able to close these loans in as little as 35 days. Um, and, and this is actually much less time than most other programs. A lot of other programs will have at least a 60 day turn time. Okay, great. Um, that was actually my last question that I had. You actually asked, answered my other question where, um, I wanted to know if there were any programs where you actually had to pay back the loans and that you covered that, um, under each program. Was there anything that you wanted to point out regarding the Maryland mortgage programs that we didn't cover? Yeah, no, I, I think these programs are really great for first time home buyers. Uh, I will note that they do have programs uh, that are not explicitly for first time home buyer. Most notably, the 4% uh, the grant program is not specifically a, a first time home buyer program. 
Um, so the 3% loan program is, um, and it does have a little bit better interest rates. Um, and it's also worth noting that they have uh, greatly discounted mortgage insurance for these programs as well. That's, a, that's an added benefit that usually goes unnoticed, but I've seen it be you know, as much as half of the typical mortgage insurance from like a standard conventional loan. Okay, great. Well, thank you uh, for joining me today to discuss the Maryland Mortgage Program. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us today. Here are a few attachments that you can find on the Maryland Mortgage Program website at mmp.com. If you have any further questions, please contact myself or Kyle. And remember, always go with the flow.